number 17, Tyler McGee. At wing back number 21, Austin Rogers. At tailback number 23, Cutler Robertson. At halfback number 41, Jamie Wilkerson. At tackle number 54, Adam Valentine. At guard number 56, Jacob Arthur. At guard number 60, Brandon Tidwell. At tackle number 64, Ian Gilchrist. At center number 76, Jay Arney. At tight end number 82, Lauren Sanders. At tight end number 88, Tyler Pennington. And at tight end number 90, Ty Whitfield. And the rest of the Mustangs. made by number four, Tate McMillan. It's second and six for the Mustangs. Coach Taylor, as Get he away. strides in, Get away. hey, this is for the football players, as he strides in, focusing, look at him, Tim the Tool Man Taylor at his finest. So coach, how do you feel about the game this weekend? Uh, I think Michigan will probably beat Ohio State, not Ohio State. I agree. BCS. I, so how yeah. about them little Mustangs? Uh, do well. I don't know who SMU plays this week, but I don't. I imagine they'll get beat. SMU hasn't won many games this year. I agree. They're very. They're not really very oh, good. Oh, high school football. Yeah, yeah. Huntington That's Mustangs it. play Lewis County. I think Huntington will win that game and probably play Milan in the semifinals. Beautifully spoken. I agree. Thanks with you for 100%. stopping by. Come back when you can't 100%. stay as long. All right. Okay. See you, coach. So, ladies, you think we'll be able to beat Tyner? I, I think we'll pull it out. Yeah, <laughs> you think we'll just pull it out? I mean, I think it'll be a little rough, but you know, we'll look at the Mustangs. They'll stick. And you are on. Them. Sloan Patton, how do you feel about the Mustangs this Friday night as they supposedly are going to roll over those little, little itty-bitty people in Chattanooga? Well, I agree. I think they will uh, do well uh, in the game. So do you think, how bad do you think we're going to beat them? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, pretty bad, Lynch. Mr. Maintenance yeah. Mike, how do you feel that we'll do against Tyner this Friday night? Oh, man. There's no match. They're going to stomp Tyler. Woo! That away from Maintenance Mike. Mike. How do you feel about the game this Friday night? It's going to be a good game. You feel we stand a chance? I definitely say so. Are you going to be there rooting us on? Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> the kick is good. Do against this big team. Oh, we're going to whoop them. You think we're going to whoop them? Yeah, we're faster and smarter. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Let's come by. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. Let's Fourteen. Come by. I got you. And um, we don't. We just are able to get everybody up there. I think that's that's what'll make it happen. It's in the hands of our fans. I think. I agree with you, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, do you think our boys will be able to perform to the power that they are able to? I think it's gonna be a good game. I think we'll win by thirty-five or forty. I think it's gonna be a good game. Coach Smith, so, how do you feel? about the game this Friday night with Tyner. I'm pumped up. I'm ready. Last year was great. It's going to be the same this Friday. Get ready to right. play. That's right. So you think we have a good chance against these huge and really fast people? Yeah, this is better believe hey, it. Get the camera over here. This guy right here. That's right. Guy right here. He's got to defend this team. He's got to fight with everything he's got. He's got to do good. Nah. But I think the real people who's going to win this game is the fans. You're right. What do you think about that? You're right. They'll carry us to victory. I agree. So what's your point here? I think Burns got to learn to hold on to the ball. I agree. And I Amen. think if we do Amen. that, then I think I think we'll be okay. You think we'll I think be okay? <laughs> I think All that's right. Nelson. Good luck. All right. Those are words of wisdom 
from We're coming Anthony. live from Coach Max room, and we're going to ask him a few questions about the uh, Tyner game this week weekend. So, Coach, how do you feel about our chances against Tyner? Uh, well, the game is 0-0 right now, so we got a shot. That's, that's, that's true. So do you think our boys will be able to stand up against their speed and agility and size? We don't want them to stand up. We want them to get low. That a boy. Cut them at the legs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you think we're going to have a good chance? Do you think the crowd will play any, any part in this game? Oh, they have to. It's their home field. We've got to take that advantage away. Yes, sir. Nobody but our fans can get that done. Yes, sir. I agree with you on that one. And I'm proud to say that I will be at the Tyner game. So, do you think our game plan is going to be good enough to outsmart them? We don't believe in outsmarting people. We just out execute them. Amen. Words of wisdom from the coach himself. We'll be able to beat Tyner this Friday night. Yeah, we will. What do you think the score will be? Um, really, really close. Standing against Tyner. We'll have to play well, but uh, we have a good chance. That's good. That's so good. Who do y'all think is going to win? False. <laughs> Tyner versus Tyner. Lipscomb. No. There we Lipscomb, go. Lipscomb, we're gonna we're gonna pull it. Yeah, pull it out. More fundamental sounds. Taylor's gonna have a big we're game. Gonna have ten overtimes or something. There ten overtimes. We'll go for several days. Yeah. Several days. Several. Do you think that's even feasible? Uh, I think we'll have to put in some of the freshmen for a few hours. Uh huh. And then uh, we'll have to pull out some eighth graders, and then we'll put in the starters again. After. So will the cheerleaders get any playing time? Uh, I don't know. It depends on how athletic they are. <laughs> I think, I think some of the uh, larger ones.